Welcome back friends or welcome if you are new. We are checking out a new place today. This is the Smith & Company Vintage Market and this is in Marietta, Ohio. I'm always excited to check out new places. So let's go ahead and head in and see what we can find. Good or bad, we're doing this today. So we're gonna see if it's a check yes or a check no of coming back. And I will share my haul with you of course throughout the video and style it if I can do that in my home, if I can find a place for it for you. I will show you how I use anything that I pick up here today so let's go ahead and check this out and see what it's like in here I think we're going to find a mix of old and new here today but I'm really curious to see about prices so this is a set of two Roseville Crocs and they are $29.99 and you get both of those Crocs and then I noticed here over on the wall I don't want to swing you too fast because I know it'll make your head dizzy Oop. This right here is another thing that I noticed. It was on this big back wall back here. These, oh, these are really popular right now. And I love that this one is uh, one of the military ones. I got some smaller photos a couple of weeks back. This is $24.95, 33 47th infantry photo. So pretty neat. First of all, what is 347th, Missy? It is crazy what you say sometimes when the camera is on. So what I meant to say was 347th. I did go ahead and pick this up. I thought it was wonderful. And I do have some other pieces here laid out. I think what I'm going to do with this is do a display in the bedroom once we get it finished. And I wanted to show you here, I have picked up this right here. And I also picked up this one. And then these right here are handwritten soldier scriptures or handwritten scriptures by a soldier. So I think all of this together in a little display is going to look absolutely beautiful in the bedroom. All right, now there are some people walking around in here, so I want to make sure I don't get them in the footage. But this is really cute right here. And then, of course, my eye is going to be caught by this Pyrex bowl right here. So I'm kind of curious to see what the price is on that. $21.95. And I love how they have their tags. They're very large and easy to read. So that is really nice. And then up here they have some really awesome pumpkin blow molds. And this one here with the cat on the bottom is $58.95. I do have one that size, so I won't be picking any of those up today, but they're still really, really neat. Here are some t-shirts. Oh, now I just bought a shirt very similar to this. Talk to me, Goose. So I wonder if she has some clothing here as well. It looks like right here we do have some jadeite. Let me pull this cup out right here. It has a really pretty floral pattern on there. I don't know if it's coming through or not. I don't see any markings on the bottom, but let me go ahead and carefully set this down. And then we're gonna check here on these plates and see what it says. Three teacups, four saucers, seven piece jadeite for $29.99. And it has that pretty floral pattern on it as well. I don't see any Fire King marking on the bottom. And this right here looks really nice. I like the darker color, so I'm going to go ahead and check out the price on that. It's an umbrella basket, and it is $38.99 for that one. I'll go ahead and carefully sit that down. You guys know I have a huge fear of breaking something in these places. It looks like we have a ton to check out and then the lady who runs the store I went ahead and I asked her if she minded me filming when I came in just to make sure and she said yeah sure go ahead but next Friday they're going to be opening a downstairs and she said they're going to have an additional 60 vendors down there so that will be really cool because this place already looks be careful fairly large already what do we have here cut glass ashtray how amazing is that piece what 
Hmm. Vintage stove, two twenty five. Wow. Wow. That Hazel Atlas pitcher and cup set is nice. Looks like it's on sale for 40. I have a few golden books here. Ooh, farm animals, kittens and puppies. Smokey the Bear. I love golden books, especially ones for Christmas. Popcorn party. Mother Goose. No Christmas. Is that like a stack of Tupperware containers? Containers, set of five Tupperware, $20. Those look in really nice shape. I don't see hardly any scratching on them from here. Yeah, very nice. All of these hankies here are beautiful and I love how they've displayed them here. Wouldn't that be pretty just in your house if you collected them to kind of display them like that? You could even hang that on the wall. I think that would be so nice. I love these ones here that have like the cutouts on the corner where it's different. And this one here is 250. That one would be beautiful for Christmas. And look at this one. It has like that cutout edge for Christmas. $2.50. Oh, okay. I'm going to see. Is this? Now, I think I have this piece right here. I know I have a picture like this. Jadeite mixing bowl, 30 Yep, and it does say Fire King on the bottom. But I believe I've got that one. But I'm seeing a bowl up here. Jadeite vase miscellaneous. See, that one doesn't say Fire King. It's 20. So I know I don't have a bowl like this. <gasps> and it does say Fire King on the bottom. $40. I am not surprised. But wow. I do not have a bowl like that. 40. I have some of these at home. Uh, okay, I'm gonna do some more looking around. See what else I may find. You guys will see the haul so you'll know if I got it or not. What we can find here, this kind of reminds me of the finish on my fairy light I just found. $12 spent in bowl. What we got down here, that looks like Pyrex. Oh, yes. Let's see. $28 for that. It says Pyrex on the bottom. Actually, for the price I've seen on this pattern, I don't think $28 is too bad for a market. In all honesty, with how expensive Pyrex can be. And it's just perfect. There were so many beautiful pieces today to choose from. It was hard to decide. I ultimately was debating between the Jadeite bowl and this Pyrex bowl. And I did go ahead and decide to go for the Pyrex. I thought it was a better deal for the price. And I think it is wonderful. I am collecting the Pyrex and putting it here in my hutch in the dining room. And I'm getting a little bit of a collection. Now I have the top shelf pretty filled out. Of course, I want to go ahead and stack up all the other sizes. But that is what is fun about it. Just on the hunt for them. And I think this one here is beautiful. I love that color here in my hutch. How pretty are these red plates right here? It's a beautiful one right there, $9.99. And then there are a couple here. This one is only $3.99, this red transfer wear, and that one's $3.99. And then this one here is $3.99. But I spotted down here this one with red and black. Have you guys ever seen one like that before? The red and the black inside note. I love this wicker stand right here, but have you noticed how pricey those are everywhere? This is $300. 300 All right, let me see if I can get this out. That's Blue Hazel Atlas. I want to see, though, what this one back here says because 
I don't believe I've seen one before that's like black in the middle and then red around the outside. Let's see. Oh, it's going to get really dark back here in this corner. Let's see what it says. Adams, England. It does have on it though a little mark. Do you see that red mark in the middle of the black? This right here has Christmas written all over it to me. Vintage metal trunk, 1999. Oh, that's heavier than I thought it was gonna be. That just says Christmas to me with that red and white stripe. That's what, it's a little beat up on the back, but that could be on the floor or, you know, it's on the bottom. It's heavy though, I wonder why it's so heavy. I wonder if we can get it open and take a better look at it here. Let's see. Oh, let's see if I can get it open or not. Oh, are you supposed to push that in too? Does it have a key? How does it open? <laughs> I wonder what's in it. Why is it so heavy? <laughs> yeah, it looks like maybe it had a key right there. I don't know if you can get it open or not. I mean, I suppose you could, but I wouldn't want to damage it. Yeah, that just says Christmas. How much was it again? $19.99. The next piece that I did go ahead and decide to snatch up today was this beautiful case. It just said Christmas to me the minute that I saw it. I think it will be beautiful either sitting like this with some things stacked up on it or sit it up straight with that kind of out towards the front. So many things that I can do with it and I will look forward to bringing this out this year for Christmas. I think that right there is a Sylvester tree. It's twenty dollars. I don't see anything on the bottom to know for sure, but that definitely looks like a Sylvester tree. If it's twenty dollars, then I think that probably is. I like that um, they show you as well. You'll see there's twenty and then six, twenty-eight, twenty-two, so that lets you know when the item was brought in and put on the shelves. So I think that's a really fun fact to know. We're gonna go ahead now and we are going to head in this room over here, which looks like it might even be darker than what we have been dealing with with light. I mean, the light is fine to shot, but oh, it's a big fan right there. Ah! But sometimes it does make it hard to film things. Okay, that is very interesting over there. Is that a potato with a spoon? Okay, that looks like a potato with a spoon. I am curious if it says anything on the bottom. Potato sour cream dish, $5.50. I have never seen anything look like that before. Here are some more of those amazing pictures. This one right here is of a 1907 infantry reunion, $29.99. And then I was looking at these. I don't know what it is, but there's something about these ladies here that remind me of the Wizard of Oz at the beginning. You know, the lady who's actually the witch riding her little bike. They just, nothing against them because they don't know them, but they kind of <laughs> remind me of that look. But this one over here, I'm especially drawn to because it is baseball. And of course, our son Elijah loves baseball. And I think it's really interesting. It is Lowell, Ohio baseball Ewing photo, $16.99. This booth back here is very kind of country primitive. So I thought we would walk in and check this one out. Now there is tons here that I haven't showed you, but I'm really into the vintage here. So that's mostly what I'm going to be sharing. This place has been excellent so far. The lady even came around and asked if I was doing good. So that was really nice. Now this blanket right here definitely caught my eye especially since I recently found my first Faribault blanket I think that's how you pronounce it and I just wanted to see what this one said plaid throw 1899 and I'm wondering if this is something that's new or if I can find some kind of a tag on it somewhere it's going to be hard because it has all of this sitting on it but I'd be really curious to see about that blanket and then this 
is nice and it is $8.99 sure it is newer but it's got a real pretty design on it lots of books Lone Ranger looks like there's a lot of those Happy Golden Years. What are these? Little House on the Prairie. All in a set right there. Got some other books down here. I see Little Women. Oliver Twist. I wonder what the prices on the books are like. Let's see if I can open this one up and see if it has a price. Oh, right there. $9.99. that back in. Tarzan. A couple of vintage toys here. This looks like a little turtle. $14.99. Abacus, $9.99. It was funny because we saw an abacus the other day and Casey said, oh look, there's an abacus. And my son said, what in the world is that? <laughs> He had no idea what an abacus was, but I guess he wouldn't. Saggy baggy elephant, Snow White. I've always thought about picking up something like this for Halloween with like the crows. I think that's uber creepy for Halloween. This one is not too bad actually. $12.99, it doesn't have a bottom. That's not really that big of a deal because you could set it on top of anything. This display here of brushes is really nice in that croc. Great decor idea. Think outside the box when displaying your collections. Put them in bowls like that or baskets or dishes or things like that. Different things that you wouldn't think of to display your collections. It looks really neat and it just takes it to like another level of your collection. Now I actually have one of my brushes hanging on my gallery wall in my living room and that looks really cool like that as well. Vintage Pyrex, please handle carefully. Thank you. <laughs> totally understand that. $85. Local Farm Fresh. This little wheat one here is really cute. How darling is that little size? It has the lid. Pyrex Bacon Serve Autumn Harvest Wheat Design. It is $16.99. If it has any kind of... No, it looks very, very good. It looks really, really good condition. Wow, what a pretty color that is too. Especially now that I'm in the mood for fall. Just under this, I saw this down here. Lemon lime juice, $7.99. What's it say on the bottom? Can't tell. Well, it has a US patent number. And then I also spied this because it says American Farm Scene. Courier and Ives Pie Plate, $10.99. Now I've seen a lot of this in the blue, but I haven't seen a lot of it in the brown. Royal China Jeanette, what? Of course that's why I'm drawn to this. Doesn't have a recipe on it though. <laughs> Vintage Noma Christmas light, $9.99. It's got some details there on the bottom. It's very, very light. Very good shape. Look at this friends. It just keeps going on and on who sees that right there and feels like they're just back in their living room let's check this out antique tv 47.95 i think it says on there spartan is that what that says maybe spartan down here in the script writing seeing things like that it's just fun to see them 
And then up here, I'm seeing some collapsible egg baskets. And that is a cute, cute idea to display them, to hang them like that. I'm super short, so I can't reach them very well. I'm only about 5'2", a little over 5'2". $14.99. I could probably get that one there down. This is a day you really need hubby. <laughs> and then I did decide to go ahead and grab this collapsible egg basket. It is perfect for me for my kitchen. And I love how it kind of opens up like that and then it kind of spreads out. I don't know if I can do it one handed though. But what I'm going to do with it, I'm sorry I don't have it styled yet. Hubby hasn't had a chance yet because he has been at work to hang a chain. I'm going to hang it kind of the same way you saw it in this video in my kitchen. So look forward to seeing that very soon. These are the first fairy lights I have seen since being here. Now I can't open the case to show you. I'll have to show you through the glass because it's locked. There are four of them here and it will show you just what an awesome deal I got on mine for $6 at the thrift store. This one back here is a Fenton. It's a hobnail but it's in that red color and it's $75. This one here is another Fenton which is $80. And my that I found my fairy light I found is Fenton as well. <laughs> I didn't check on the bottom of it until some people had let me know and I checked it, shared it on Instagram. Again, high vintage home that it has the Fenton mark on the bottom. This one here I think is the most reasonable. It's 25. And then this one back here that looks kind of like a snow. Oh, they're actually cutting their Christmas tree down. It is actually 85, so pretty high across the board there. I think this place checks a lot of the thumbs up boxes. Great selection, a very comfortable shopping environment. It is very nice and open, but tons of selection at the same time. I cannot believe they're going to have 60 more vendors downstairs. That's going to be awesome. The prices I thought were fair. Some of the booths were higher than others, but you typically have that. I love that the prices are so easy to read. So that is definitely a plus. I really enjoyed shopping here. I think you should check it out for sure if you're in the Marietta, Ohio area. Maybe wait till next Friday when the additional 60 vendors get here. I just got back in the car and I realized that I forgot to share a couple of things with you that were really nice. One, they have a seating area in the front with a TV if you need to sit down and take a break because it is a large place. They have drinks there as well and also they have a restroom and it is very clean. So I thought those were two more things I wanted to share with you about this place. I thought it was awesome and I cannot wait to bring hubby back here. I think he will really have a good time too. So thank you all so much again. Take care and I'll see you again soon.